20s, aka the Roaring Twenties, aka one of the more happier times in America's history. The Roaring Twenties era is known for its drastic social changes such as jazz music, alcohol, radios, liberated women, sliced bread, etc. Women made a huge social leap during this time period. We finally gained the right to vote through the 19th Amendment in the year of 1920. Feminism. By day, women were participating in more higher class jobs. By night, we come to the subject of the flapper, who is basically a young woman sporting a bobbed haircut, sleazy skirt, and perhaps smoked and drank alcohol, which was unconventional for a woman at the time. Americans also tended to have extra money to spend, which led to consumerism. There was now a widespread spending on consumer products such as radios, refrigerators, and also cars. People can thank advertising for the need to purchase those nifty products that you see. All of this consumerism and need for stuff created a higher standard of living for Americans. Now with all these wonderful events going on, we also have the Great Migration which brought almost 6 million African Americans from the South to the North. Now this had a lot to do with the growth of white supremacy and Jim Crow law. Cool factors included better economic opportunities such as industrial jobs as well as less racism and prejudice. Basically the North provided less social challenges for African Americans as well as a fresh start. The Harlem Renaissance was also very relevant in the 1920s. This movement located in New York City was dedicated to promoting the expansion of black culture through literature, music, and dancing. Along with its social impact, the 1920s experienced some brutal political corruption. Warren G. Harding, known for the infamous Teapot Dome scandal, which did not only involve Harding himself, but also his secretary Albert Fall, who accepted nearly half a million dollars worth of bribes in exchange for leases and oil reserves. A few other notable events include Charles Lindbergh and his completing of the first ever solo transatlantic flight from New York to Paris. And also Babe Ruth, because this New York Yankees player hit his 60th home run of the season on September 30th, 1927, setting a record. Well, that concludes this video on America in the 1920s. Hope you enjoyed.